Reefers, I'm Daniel, and today you're looking at a whole line of Boshi sumps. Each one of these was specially built for our custom frag racks, and you guys are going to get a good look at them right now. I'm going to show you guys the different combinations we have here. Now there are two types of sumps. We have the Signature Series, and I think the other one's called the Pro, and these things are just absolutely gorgeous. They're twisted skimmers, they have the reactors with them, and these things are designed to handle almost anything. So these are 48 inch sumps, they're pretty big. Um, we also have some smaller ones available as well over here. Just thought I'd show you guys the lineup. This is the Mano sump, absolutely stunning. And there's the 36 incher right there. Of course we have some things piled up. We are in the middle of moving these tanks, getting ready to drill. We got lights coming in, rocks should be here in a day or two. So make sure you guys look out for that. We're gonna be aquascaping this beautiful tank with Marco rocks. And this one over here will be planted with CO2. This thing is gonna be green, green, green. I can't wait to show you guys that tank. And look what else we got in here. Our neighbor next door brought these over. There's a story behind these, so I can't wait to tell you guys and share them with you. But these are massive, massive pieces of real corals. I can't believe it. The skeleton on here is insane. This looks like a Stylophora. And you have some Acropora over here. And there's some bird's nests that came. But just look at these pieces, absolutely stunning. I mean, just check out the coralites on this piece. So that's a big chunk of calcium. Now back in the day, we used to take our dead corals and we'd crush them up and throw them into our calcium reactors. And we would melt them down and use it to replenish and refuel the tank. So that's for another day. We'll talk about that next time. But you guys can see here, this is the low boy frag tank system. The temporary setup, we have the canister filters running that. In the meantime, just so you guys, you know, people who stop by have something to look at. So I'm gonna walk around, show you guys a little bit tour of what we're working on some more and give you some insights on what's to come. So this tank here, we have a stand coming and we have an octopus that is going to be in here, which is really cool, warm water. It's um, local to Florida. So that was hand caught and collected and we'll be putting that tank for display. So we'll have a cool color changing octopus as a pet. And then we also have over here, all these systems that we sh I showed you currently, the sumps, the bashies, will be going underneath these select frag tanks. So these ones will be SPS and signature corals that we have coming in. So Christian is currently working on the top and he's finishing this beautiful, beautiful um, board, this layout up top, just so when we hang the lights, it'll look nice and elegant. So we try to go above and beyond when we display our stuff just to show you guys the quality of craftsmanship that we offer. I don't like things left undone. So the way we're gonna display these, it'll just look like it would at your house and you guys will be able to come in and, and just see the elegant designs that we have here for you. So. As those are coming together, and it's all about the trim. For all my um, carpenter fans out there, and people, um, contractors, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the end work, the trim, that makes the job beautiful. So framing everything out is tough in the beginning, but the done project is where it just shines. So you'll have to come back and see that, and see how that looks in a little bit. And another sneak peek, look at these guys. Man, I can't walk by without drooling. These things are stunning. So you guys will be coming in here and drooling as well, I'm assuming. So you can't call yourself a reefer and not love a good sump. So Isaac's over here keeping busy. He's taking care of these beautiful koi that came in. Somebody had a pond and they were having issues. So we do take in fish and we do help people out in emergencies. We do have the equipment. So if you have a leak in your tank or something, feel free to call us and we will do our best to help you right away or get you in contact with someone who can. So part of being uh, part of the community is that we all take care of each other here. So if you have any questions or there's something wrong with your tank, we want to help you get it straightened out and, and back up and running ASAP. So we are testing out making RODI water now. So just to show you guys, this thing is a beast. You cannot walk away for more than two minutes because this thing is filling up buckets left and right. So I think we're up to 300 gallons a day with the way we have this system set up and it's running strong. So we are running two of the membranes and then we have the wastewater going through the third 
So trying to be more productive there. And then we also have the high pressure pump. So we're running, these are all wrong, so don't trust these. What you see here, we're gonna have to replace these labels when we get the chance. But these are all your pre-filters, the carbon, before it runs into the membrane. Then we have our DI resins. So there's a lot going on here, but we try to give you an offer the best water possible. So we don't want any issues there. But this is just a quick update, guys. I'm gonna just show you what we have going on. <clears throat> you know, for the rest of the week, we have so much to do. We will be here working. Feel free to stop by. The front door is open, so anyone in the area, come say hello. And as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.